And just like that, we are back. Welcome to Green Room Radio. I am here with Spanky Hayes. What up, bitch? We got little Rach in the house. What's going on? And we got a very special guest today. Uh, he's the guy who said he wouldn't do Adam 22 because he ain't the right white boy. So I'm going to guess I'm the right white boy. Stan Lee. Stan Lee. Uh, we got Charleston White in the building. Hey, what's up, man? I'm glad. To, uh, yes, yeah, sir, I, yes, I'm, sir. I'm excited to be here. If I ever wanted to play football, I wanted to play football for Tom Landry, uh, Nick Saban, Bill Belichick. If I play basketball, I want to play basketball for Pat Riley. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, Phil that's Jackson. One. That's uh, my favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't nobody coach a bunch of good niggas like me but a good white man like you. <laughs> so I would hey, I said in hip hop behind every rapper is a goofy ass white guy. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well probably in comedy too, actually. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, and and they not tall. No. No, they all no, short no, little all stubby white boys. Yeah. 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 Uh, take your girl. <laughs> they, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, they yeah. sure do. Yeah. Okay. They sure do. So uh, he said they sure do. So so yeah. <laughs> hey, well, <laughs> hey, then he I, said it with that's me. why my name is true. True. Uh, so we can start by saying that I've been chasing this guy around for about two months. Remember? Yeah. yeah I was yeah. hitting you up. We were we were doing this run around. Then I got drunk one night. I thought I thought it was. My, <laughs> oh, my, my I num- love this one. Oh uh, my number, my number's on the internet, man. Oh, uh, so I get all kind of motherfucking calls. So I'm thinking. Wait, why is your number on the internet? Oh. Uh, Man, cause I'm I I I, I like this shit. He's asking for it, guys. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh, I, I yeah. wake up out of my sleep and yeah, fuck you, motherfucker. Well, fuck you too, motherfucker. And yeah, <laughs> just, I wait, but now nah, so I'm yeah. thinking it's somebody just really <laughs> fucking with me, right? Hey, uh, I told him. I said, hey, I said, you know what? I've been trying to get you for months, man. I said. I go, if we had you, you'd probably be the ugliest person we've ever had on our show. And you FaceTime me like, within what? 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah, you got me fucked up, motherfucker. <laughs> I, yeah. I, was yeah, like, no. I was like, I was like, I was like, now that I was say like, shit like uh, that, I the, swear. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, all the pretty girls in school like me in elementary and all that. Uh, yeah, man. don't play with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, when that was a complete insult. Yeah. 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 So yeah. He, was, he hit me right. I said, now that I got your attention. <laughs> And he's like, yeah, well, that's you one way to get somebody's attention. Yeah, you sure uh, did. that's the best way. Man, he got, he, <laughs> so you just put your you, you you leave your phone on there just so you can take calls from people that uh, just want to. Yeah, I have, I have an internet phone. An internet phone. Okay. Yeah, I need one of those. Got two phones. That, that sounds yeah. like it'd be fun. Uh, I, I I I I came up with, with with this concept called Free Keisha, and it was I had a I had a uh, so on my YouTube channel I would have Free Keisha Fridays, mm. uh, and it was a safe platform uh, where where guys uh, on the internet could safely come. Uh, and release the bitch in them. Yeah, wow. release that inner divine. God, I know a lot of people. Yeah, it, it was so so. I, so so the slogan would be release her, let her go, let Ooh. that bitch go. I hear that hoe knocking in you, nigga. Let her go. That bitch trying to get out of you. It's not fair for you to keep that hoe in her. So that's guys that's calling, insulting you on the internet. Right. So I put this nump out there, and man, that line would ring for hours. <laughs> <laughs> what were people saying? Uh, fuck you, bitch ass nigga. I'm gonna kill you. What's your address? Yeah, I got your address out, and I just said, just release her, let her go, it's, and, we're, and we're not gonna judge you. I'm right. here to listen. Uh, b- because right. because in my mind, no real man does this. Right. No no real man is in the bathroom peeing and sees uh Betty blowjobs at nine seven two and calls the number and see if Betty get blowjobs. Right. No, no, but these guys do. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so internet uh, they don't got nothing else hey, to do. It is a wild place. Yeah. So, yeah. so some people just want to let out some shit like anonymously as well. So, oh. so uh, I, I'm I'm a calculated guy, right? So when I look at the amount of people that's on each social media platform, so on Facebook you got a billion. Right. Wow. So I was doing millions of views on Facebook long before I came to Instagram and YouTube. Mm. So I'm saying, man, uh, for for a guy that that that's charismatic. Whether he's a cult leader, a, a con artist, a liar, mm. uh, if he can get people's attention, he can really play on people. Whether right. that's asking for money every day, or right. whether that's selling fake insurance. So that's <laughs> all of what these internet yeah. personas are, right? right? So fake guys, so, so guys who are coming on the internet uh, in girls, right. portraying an image or a persona. Or characteristic traits that they really don't display in real life. Mm. Uh, exactly. The Derek Jackson guy, for one, right? Yeah, he was yeah. coming online every day giving some of the most prolific r- relationship advice. And he was a monster with his... Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah man. He's a hell of a motherfucker. 
Uh, so, so I turn it as so, so yeah. I, I didn't just show up on the internet talking, right? right? I really came with a plan to play a villain because what I know in black culture, if they start out liking you, they're gonna end up hating you. Of course. So if you get them to hate you, eventually they'll like you. Right, if so like that. some reverse psychology. Yeah, exactly. okay. Yeah. Be because because okay, Charleston. Because what's gonna happen is they're gonna start to dig and, and, and indulge into who you really are. Right, right. Because they got access now. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, even with the rapper, if he come out trying to be something he's not, they're gonna dig, go back to his neighborhoods. Oh, he really not like this, right? Right. So it, it forces you to it, it forces the real you to come forward because they're going to start digging up old stuff we got exactly. paperwork on this person so i came to be a villain knowing what's behind me that can come forward to say oh man that guy's not really like that yeah that's smart no i, I and, and honestly that most of them aren't you're, you're absolutely yeah. right you yeah. know and yeah. Uh, rap, rap was supposed to be studio gangster it wasn't never supposed to become real it wasn't right. never supposed to leave outside of the studio right because because the entourages would pick a person to go out and talk like this in, in interviews, not present this image. Uh, the image became commercialized. Right. Right. So uh, and it's a hell of an image. Uh, it, it's just that it's, it, it destroys. It's, it's yeah, detrimental. It don't fit everybody. <clears throat> no. Really don't fit. Yeah. Nobody. No, that's what really caught my attention with yeah. you. I mean, I, I saw, you know, one thing that's funny is, is the little beef you had with Soldier Boy. Like, yeah, that guy's just a good boy. Uh, <laughs> he had, uh, little, he had uh, a little crank that song like he uh, ain't no he ain't no gangster man. That, that nigga really had made a video that i hadn't seen before i maced him right he had <laughs> really he, he had really hey, i love that oh uh, he he, he, he <laughs> had really him. he had really made an open threat on the internet right. saying what he would do i would pay to do this so i hadn't saw that video so i know i had said something about him on the say cheese tv interview after young Dolph had gotten killed mm -hmm. he made it seem like he had something to do with young Dolph getting killed and, and 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 I'm saying, man, when you came to, to this industry and you was introduced to the world, you was a you. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, you you yeah. know, you dancing. So over the years, you evolved into a hardened Paru with plenty of tattoos. Right. So you, right. you, you evolved through this, right? Right. Uh, Does he call himself a Paru? Yeah. yeah fruit oh, town. my. Fruit, uh, town. fruit Town. So yeah, they're my homies. So oh my so he, he, he evolved into this. Most of the people who are really about this was this in elementary they was just they just wasn't in the game they was getting in, in trouble in, in PE class right. but in middle school they was going to juvie so most real gangsters have a juvenile delinquency background they they didn't make it they didn't wait till they got kicked off the football team throughout their life they have always been troubled juvenile delinquent children exactly because mm -hmm. of the culture we grow up to become this but the real delinquents was delinquent when we was all playing football and trying to do good. Right. Yeah. Our parents didn't want us hanging with them. Were you the real delinquent? Nah, uh uh. I was the one uh, fascinated by the delinquent kid because I had what he didn't have, right? Meaning I had the night, I didn't grow up in the hood. So mm. I, had, right. I, I had the name brand clothes, the name brand shoes. Right. He had the hood traits that I was fascinated by. So I would become were you, friends. Were, were you raised by your, you have a mom and yeah, a dad? Yeah, yeah so nah, just, uh, mom, uncles, granddad. So I, okay. I had males involved in my life, just not my dad. Okay. Uh, well, you were raised same by. Same with me. Right. Yeah. Same with me. Mm -hmm. So I, I was really raised by a village, a village of black people. It, it's just that all the males in that village had been to prison. So it made me fascinated when I found the, when I ran across a delinquent kid in school, right? Those traits and those characteristics would stand right. out because the all hood. the girls like him, right? All the guys fuck with him. Girls. So those traits, if 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 if, if you've been introduced to it it, 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 it fascinates you, right? Your uncle's been to jail. Your uncle's mm -hmm. a pimp. So right. it fascinates you because he got that image, and so you're drawn to that, mm -hmm. right? So when y'all create a bond. First thing I want him to do is, I know he's poor. Man, ask your mom if you can spend the night at our house. Exactly. That's Nigga. exactly how I grew up. Yeah. My uncle was a pimp. And I used to ride with him all the time while he was with his bitches, getting money from Me his too. bitches. Me too, yeah. Sitting in the back and shit. Stop talking to him, motherfucker. Like, all that. Yeah, that shit is real. Yeah, so, you know, so my mom would buy me a brand new pair of shoes. And she the second day, my, my poor friend in the projects room. Mm -hmm. I come home, I got his shoes on. My mom said, boy, where them shoes at? Oh, my mom let Patrick them one. Boy, you better go get them shoes. So I, I developed a, a, a compassion for less fortunate children just mm -hmm. making friends with less fortunate children. Oh, yeah. 
It's crazy because there's actually a story where proof, you know, it's kind of reversed. Eminem had the crazy, you know, like the the bad shoes and proof actually got a new pair of shoes and gave them to Eminem and took his shoes. Yeah. So, so, so I'm the friend who always had more who shared. Uh, I'm the friend who, man, I wish your mama was my mom. Mm. You know, it's like I had the better life. Mm. So uh, I chose to go be delinquent because I wanted to fit in Mm. the the culture. Right. Uh, I'm the kid when I come to school, I can answer all the questions in every class. Well, your homeboys and your friends go start teasing you. Oh, man, here you go again. But ain't nobody else engaging the teacher. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to be bored. And I'm really slick side trying, trying to, to like learn. learn. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, but right. your homeboy mm-hmm. going to be, man, man. Uh, you're smart ass. You know what I'm saying? Mr. So, College. So you dumb yourself down to exactly. fit in. Mm. It was like right. that with skating with me. I was a skater. And all my friends used to be like, man, you a skateboarder, nigga. You stupid. You an ignorant motherfucker. But mm. fuck y'all. I'll just go somewhere else to skate. So 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 because of the <laughs> Skater culture, mentality. I love it. So, yes. so because of the culture, we'll have six boys. One of them play football. Uh, the other one might want to play soccer. One of them play baseball. One of them in the band. Right. The other one really want to really want to take piano lessons. Uh, the other one really want to do ballet because he can flip and get into the gymnastics. Right. Mm-hmm. The coaches say everybody got to be a shooter. Right. Mm. The coaches like say the everybody. Music. The coaches yeah. say everybody got to be. I heard a you say earlier you have you have some you have kids. Yeah, I got two. I got a 19 year old son and a 15 year old yeah. daughter. Wow, mm. how is it? Is it getting easier as they get older? Uh, or different problems. Uh, it is 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 easier uh, because I was there from day one. Yeah. What what do they think? What do they think about all your crazy videos? Oh, uh, they're uh, they watch, they watch their father evolve. Yeah. Mm. Uh, they they know they they know dad uh, from from you know uh, going to PTA meetings, uh, cooking breakfast, coming home. Uh, they they know the struggle. Were, were you ever they a troop leader? Are. Uh, no, 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 uh, <laughs> no. Uh, the Boy Scouts. Uh, I, 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 I was trying to figure it out as a as a struggling single uh, black father, so uh, I, I didn't know what to do except but just be there. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. try to put him in football, but you see, football ain't his thing. Uh, daughter in horseback riding lessons, uh, gymnastics, uh, dance. Uh, so you 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 mm-hmm. try to put them in what you think they ought to be in to keep them busy. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, on top of uh, you and baby mama gonna squabble with each other and 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 work against each other's interests, meaning your feelings, mm-hmm. and it's gonna destroy the best interest of the children. So so most so when we split up in relationships with our kids for about ten or fifteen years, uh, we're at each other and it's working against the best interest of the kid. Wow, man, I, I I sure hope it don't last that long. That's how long it lasted with you, 10, 15 years. Oh, uh, well, uh, somebody got to grow up. Somebody, some, yeah, uh, and, and it's sure. hard. I'm, you still saying, bitch, what a goddamn bitch, and fuck you then. So, and, and, right. and, and, and whether they with you or with her, they hear it and they sense it, right? Yeah. So, so, uh, so, so what happens is uh, because of our personal emotions, uh, we put up barriers uh, in the way of co-parenting. Mm. And no matter what, that completely works against the best interest of the child. What, so, what would you what would you say? So, when it comes to co-parenting, is it easy? Would you say it's easier for to work with the father? The court asks, who who would give more rights to the other person, the father or the mother? Uh, keep the courts out of it. Keep the courts out. If of you it. can. Uh, Do you like uh, family uh, therapy? Uh, yeah. Well, I always heard that they, you know, they said the know, mother years and, and, ago, and, and, and dads America. were more willing. To want them to have relationships where moms would like kind of pull back. Uh, uh, up and up until women's suffrage, uh, uh, that's the nineteen twenties. Uh, men had complete rights over the children. Yeah, that, yeah, her mom, yeah, yeah, yeah. Saw that. yeah sure. You can kick her ass out, bitch. Go and me and my baby go on. Right. Uh, and you control her like that. Uh, so once woman's suffrage passed, uh, women now have complete rights over your children. Uh, if you get a woman pregnant, she can decide to kill it. Right. You ain't got no say so. Ain't nothing you can oh, decide. Wow. Yeah. Right. If she decide I want an abortion, there's nothing you can do. Nothing. She got complete. Uh, when she have the baby, uh, if you don't establish your rights in court, that's not your child. Most people don't know that. So as a as a man, how do you get your rights established in court? Well, a marriage certificate automatically established them. So right. wh- whomever she's married to, that's the child. 
That's the child's father by law. Right. Or uh, secondly, either child support. So if, if me and you can't work together, and it's all behind emotions, unless I was the kind of guy that beat you and did all, you know, that's understandable. But if I wasn't, this is just about emotions. Exactly. Uh, I feel it's always about money. Uh, money plays a big role. No, that's no. the money is the smokescreen, be, yeah. because because uh, we the money that's that's a man is required to pay for child support. It don't take that much to take care of kids. Hell no. I'm on child support yeah. right now. It don't take that much. Thank you. Oh. I fucking Carlos hate knows. that no, shit. It, it don't take that much. If they if she if she if she stopped eating out, cook, breastfed, uh. Were you uh, breastfed? Like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 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 I've never. As my, an adult, have you uh, breastfed? No, no. I, I've never. <laughs> my, I, I've never in my life can recall uh, drinking milk. That's mm. good. Remember how they used to say milk does a body good? They lied like, to. That was a like campaign lied. that they had going yeah. on. I, I've never. I, I, I've never in my life. I've never in my life poured milk in my mouth and digested it. Never. Wow, that's actually that's, that's good. That's phenomenal. That's I, I remember awesome. when I did that. I used, to drink, I used to drink it all the time because they was they lied to head. eat yeah. cheese like and all to, kind of shit. To yeah. China School. start making the cheese, yeah, yeah. Now <laughs> yeah. nigga eating plastic. Damn, it just tastes good. It's a little it, crazy. It tastes great. I love cheese. You think China's taking over? A motherfucker, China, China. In, in the last twenty years, China probably have bought up uh sixty percent of the world's real estate, For real. uh including a lot of real estate in America. Uh, uh. I think they own what seventy five percent of of America's pork and chicken processing plants. Uh, the Russians, the Russians own the meat processing plants. Uh, America don't belong to America anymore. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. America has been invaded. Uh, that's why other that's why other 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 people from other countries now have legislations in our country. Right. Uh, a, uh, uh, Asian le hate legislation. We have no other legislations in their countries. No. Uh, uh, not not that they don't deserve it, uh, but. It should be equal rights and equal protection no matter what, where people shouldn't need a legislation. Yeah, you know, somebody told me one time, like every time in every city or state, there's a Chinatown. So somebody asked me one time, they said, they said, have you ever seen a, a, a funeral home in Chinatown? And I was like, no, I haven't. And they were like, because they eat their people. Shut the fuck <laughs> that's up. What, that's what they said. But I mean, oh they God. they no, have I'm everything. Curious. No, they have a they have Chinese lawyers. You know, like everything. But they don't you got need. no Chinese funeral. There's no Chinese funeral home. Why? Let me tell you this. If you ever go to a true? Chinese, they saw, oh they let their ass sail off on the sea. Right. <laughs> let me tell you something. If you ever go to a Chinese restaurant and you see Chinese people eating the food, eat what they eating. Oh, uh, listen. I'm like Archie Bunker. Hey, I might that might Archie be a little Bunker, that might be a little older than y'all. Rachel don't uh, know who Archie Bunker uh, is. I've heard of that name before. <laughs> I don't have. Uh, well, I don't know if I am I supposed to know who Archie hell, Bunker is. Hell yeah. Okay, my bad uh, guys. Wait, what was his girl's name? Uh, 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 Edith. 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 He, yeah. was, he was mean in the motherfucker to eat it. Yeah. Oh, uh, but uh, man, I don't like white people cooking. <laughs> it's not seasoned like how I like it. <laughs> Man, I'll, man, you know, I'll, there, man, look, there are quite a quite If I go to a white person's house season. and they say, oh, y'all, we... Man, I love the season of my food. I'm going to be hesitant because we don't have the same taste buds, right? So I come from a salty season. Right. So I mostly eat soul food, right? That's my diet. Right. Nigga, I don't eat outside Cajun. my diet. Uh, I don't eat Cajuns. Well, uh, pork chops, greens, what we ate today. Waffles, so, chicken waffles. Yeah, like low, low. So that's, that's right. my diet, right? Right. Uh, every now and then, I got a taste for Mexican food because I got some Mexican pussy early in life. So I like Mexican food, right? <laughs> but but I like Tex Mex. <laughs> I don't even enchiladas. Know uh, it's not uh, like uh, straight uh, up Mexican. It's not, stra it's not straight up Mexican. Hey, do you think do you think Mexican people ever say, "Hey, we're gonna like go we're gonna go Mexican. eat at a white person's restaurant"? <laughs> no. Yeah. Nobody does. Think that's what? I said, you what? think Mexican people ever say, hey, we're going to go eat at a white person's restaurant? White people or, it. You know, uh, white I don't people know. Why, are, we, why don't we get probably one on seafood, here? Probably seafood. Because we always say, well, let's go eat Mexican food. Yeah. Well, yeah. White, people, white people or explorers. Because it is right? Mexican. White people or explorers. They, they, they dip and dabble in everybody's culture. <laughs> What's so white they people go, food? Burgers? They, uh, all American shit. Burgers, pizza, pizza. chili dogs. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, chili uh, dogs. Yeah. Uh, probably ribs. Rib, I mean, yeah, yeah. Rib. Yeah. Rib. Yeah. Uh, pulled pork. Right, okay. pork, yeah. yeah, some pulled pork. Yeah. Uh, a good medium rare steak. Rare yeah. steak. Yeah, probably steaks. Uh, yeah, Subway. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Iconic American. And McDonald's, Man, right? Jared fucked it up for me with uh, Subway. I can't, I can't with all Subway. That He's a fuck face. You know they used to say with Subway, they said the, the, bun, the bun was made out of yoga mats. Shut the yeah. fuck up, I swear dude. to God, that's been like... I used to work at Subway. I was like 15, though. Oh, there you go. There you go. I mean, e- even the wheat. But I swear, e- even, I d- it wasn't made out of yoga mats. Even the wheat one? <laughs> All we got the wheat know. bread. If you got Damn. the wheat bread, I think... I know, I don't know. I, can they bring back the honey oat? That was my, my shit. Did they get rid of it? Yeah, they got rid of it. Maybe that's what Jared ate. Well, I, I have not seen it. I don't, I, don't, I don't put nothing past uh, anything anymore. Uh, after Seriously. The, after the creation of tilapia. Right. Oh, no, fuck. Yeah, I don't right. put me in motherfuckers that created some shit. Uh, even these new dogs, them Frenchies and them Yorkies, where do these motherfuckers come yeah. from? They, <laughs> the, they the ugliest motherfucking shit uh, in the world. I swear. Who would want a dog they can't like even that? breathe. And they cost so fucking much. They, like, man, this fuck? this some new creation shit. Yeah, yeah. They didn't exist 10 years ago. Hell no. Yeah. What happened to the Doma Pinchers? Hey, where did the why did this happen to them? You know, that's why a good question. Why didn't even we Snoop Dogg turn to a yeah. Doberman Pinscher? Yeah, yeah, why didn't why didn't we have alkaline water growing up? Yeah, where does the alkaline come because from? No, All these no. questions. They, they, What's that from? Uh, they specifically gave us fluoride water. That that was that was the yeah. Water. Not, they not, definitely not. did that. French yeah, no. Nah, uh, see, uh, look at that dog. Look at that dog. Yeah, that, ugly. Them two that brothers. Dog. Them two brothers fucking. It's kind of cute though because it's like helpless. It's like oh, I wish I could help you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, fuck that dog. Those are spies. Uh-huh. Those are spies <laughs> from China. Right. Yeah. Right. Aliens. No, that's the pigeons. They're, they're aliens. The pigeons are the spies oh, yeah, from the China. Pigeons. No, the flies. Uh, you see oh, the no, flies dude. Those lately? fucking mosquitoes that, that are going oh, around right now. That, oh my gosh. That Tibetan. That Tibetan mastiff is a, is a is a is a, a, a lab created motherfucker. It look like a lion. Oh yeah, that big that big yeah, boy. That is, it's a Tibetan you think hum, uh, humans are lab? Well, yeah, humans are, yeah. can be lab created. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, that's how they. Uh, that, that's clones? how. They, that, uh, yeah, clones. Uh, that's how they made the the, the slave. Was, the slave was lab created. I got a good one for you. How do you feel about this Kanye West situation? Like, do you think he's like? Is you think that's the actual real Kanye? You goddamn right. You see how stupid he is. <laughs> I know, I, but I like, what's, what's up going with on? the he's shoulder not, pads? You know, what's up with this new look? Like. He's just but, acting all fucking weird. Uh, I remember he said it was like, if I'm gone, and uh, you know what I mean, if I come back, like everybody who fucked the Kardashians went weird. All of them. Okay, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Bruce Jenner. Bruce Jenner was a motherfucking triathlon athlete, the Tim- strongest man Timothy's in the world. Next. Right. Man, he done turned dun, dun, dun. into Caitlyn, and now Caitlyn saying she's not getting in no more relationship. You see what they done to them people? You know, she said, I just yeah. heard. Damn, she's okay, not getting any more relationships. Lamar Odom. Yeah. Oh, uh, Reggie yeah. Bush. Reggie Nigga ain't her man ain't fucked up everybody with that good pussy. Ray J. Oh, <laughs> Ray J. So oh. it's just a good pussy curse. No, no, no. That's nah, all nah, it is. No, no, no. There's whole. definitely there's definitely a Kardashian <laughs> curse. hundred percent. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Starting with the mama. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But what if she hit you up? Would you would you fuck with her? Most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, let me yeah. be like, like damn. Actually, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm Chris no, 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 Jenner, yeah, if you're yeah, looking no, at this, yeah, hell yeah, I'm going to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay. I'm hey, me to the party. Nah, listen, He's a delinquent guy. Hey, remember? Hey, listen, because I know they some rotten motherfuckers. Everybody will fuck me. Kylie, yeah. Yeah. Courtney, they, 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 they them kind of girls. Tell them. Yeah, yeah I want to. I want to get in them kind of family. Straight Tell them. Sure. Yeah, yeah. You go over there. You get yeah. the fuck out of the Kardashians. Don't have no good dick and they moaning and groaning mm. <laughs> when they walk by the door. That's what got Bruce. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I believe Kylie pussy so good. Me- that's what got uh, Megan shot in the foot. What's that other one that don't talk? Not Kylie. Kylie the other billionaire. Which one is not? Uh, 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 Kendall. Yeah, you last the one. <laughs> the motto. That's your name. Heart, heart, mm. heart in the mama. Mm. You think Chloe's OJ's kid? I think so. I mean, that's what they she say. She definitely looks know. a lot different. She ain't got that OJ them. head. Boy, rest that OJ head is a signature head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kind of do, though. Pull her up. Can, can you pull up Chloe OJ Kardashian? Or OJ Simpson's head? <laughs> she kind of do. Watch. Just compare I the mean, two. I mean, she doesn't look like any of the other sisters, that's she for don't. sure. OJ Simpson compared Jay next Leno. to Chloe Kardashian. Jay Leno, huh? Oh, she look. Yeah, that's that, that's that boy, baby. Yeah. Oh, look at that look chin. Nose. Look at that chin. Mm-hmm. Boy, look at that motherfucking chin. Mm. That's crazy. She yeah. definitely got Chris's eyes. 
Boy, but the nose hey, hey, is his oh, nose. Oh, but listen, it, that's, com- that's common practice in the American I mean, that's, family. That's a little bit of lip filler. That's, that's common me. practice in the American you family. You gotta look at what she looked like uh, before all the shows. Do you prefer that's, dating white girls or black girls? She definitely looked like him. Girls. Girls. Women. Wait, hold on. Do you women. prefer black women or white women? He just said girls. Just oh, girls in general? Oh. Asian women? No, no he's saying I women. No way. I'm, he's yeah, just I, saying all I'd have been to Asian massage parlors. Oh uh, no, nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't date no Asian one. They can't take that dick. They be like, you ready? They, they can't. Too They can't take the no. dick. Too buku. Too buku. They're too buku. Damn, you not. You probably not fucking with the right Asian then. No, nah, you lying. No, nah, cause you ain't gonna see. Uh, they they got to have some thighs and some ass. Uh, to take that pound. You like the you like the BBL around. girls? Hey, they exist. Oh uh, no, nah, no. Nah. Uh, unless they went to Doctor Miami fifteen years ago when we didn't know. But mm-hmm. all these hoes that going. Uh, and you can tell. Uh, these doctors is fucking up their measurements and leaving off some shit where you can kind of tell. You think they're doing that on purpose? Right. No, they just going, the doctors just rushing their ass in and out because they know most of these people who are doing this uh, ain't going to be able to tell because it's self-esteem issue. They just happen mm-hmm. to have a big ass. They're not going to see one ass bigger than the other <laughs> and their thighs sense. don't match. I feel like it right. makes people look weird. Uh, yeah, I've seen like some good cartoon. BBLs though. But, I can't lie, I've seen some good ones, but there but, are some pretty outrageous ones. But just when like you have a, when you have a culture of assed obsessed men, right? Then it don't matter if it don't look right. It don't matter if you have skinny legs with a big ass. He just He's looking at your ass, yeah. right? Yeah. Because because ass is the shit. Because I love it. because <laughs> I mean, it's nice. We we have to remember, guy. Remember, push ain't got no face. It was a whole. It was <laughs> damn. You know, twenty years that shit. It's crazy yeah. you said that. The Stop. last, the last person because it doesn't. Coolio sang a song called "That Pussy Ain't Got No Face." Well, that's here. what we was all saying. That's why yeah. we used to sneak and fuck the fat girl. Right. <laughs> How yeah. many times did you do that one? Uh, man. Uh, every year in school. Oh. And, 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 and even. Uh, okay. Hey, when I went in, they have a place out here, a swingers club called the Green Door. Yeah. And when I went in there, it was all really skinny black guys like you, and then big fat white girls. I was just I don't know if Were that's, you one of them? Oh them niggas Were having fun <laughs> Yeah 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 Them niggas were having fun I mean that's just Enjoy. what I saw I don't know Yeah yeah that, 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 What were you doing in there True? Yeah that's when you I like, got scared I walked in there Two black guys were naked Playing pool with each other And I scared the yeah, shit I'll out of me Yeah I turned around Just hanging out Fuck this ain't, Yeah this ain't the playground I want to swing it No I was trying to wonder Like nigga, how is this shit playing. legal But well I, I, uh, no, yeah, well, well if you come up In an era right A running train Right, nigga, you might got one cheerleader in this motherfucking room with five niggas naked. Harry, up, come on, in my turn. Harry, up, and you know, uh, because we come up under that era where running trains was popular in the culture. Oh, uh, <laughs> niggas, they used to run trains. Nigga, this in the eighties. We in the yeah. sixth grade trying to run train because yeah. we had a song saying, "Hey, we hey. want some pussy." Hey. Hey, so, hey. hey, so then you got <laughs> then you got Snoop Dogg and Nate Dogg and them coming later on saying it ain't no fun. Yeah. So we would shame you. Yeah, we would shame you if you wouldn't let us have action at your girl. And this was a group of this the whole game. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. you can't. You, you got a girlfriend, so I that's how. I haven't heard that in a long time. Man, she is so yeah. well, so. Uh, I, no, I, that's real shit. Though. So so I get it. I can the see culture how, has been fucked. I can <laughs> see how two niggas playing pool, waiting to fuck three fat white holes over there because right. they styling and profiling with their dick. They don't put lotion on the back of their feet. <laughs> they got baby all on their thigh. Yeah, <laughs> they, they, yeah, yeah. that dick hanging long. They shooting and yeah, they yeah. they styling. They yeah, they yeah, they campaigning. Man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they were. Yeah. I just I just wondered when when uh so this we we had the owner of the green door here and he was like yeah I thought you was on not not of the green door oh, oh yeah no oh, the, the, the green, green room, room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah there's a big difference there's yeah. a big difference hey, uh, you know what I used to, especially I used here to confuse me too like damn why you name it that yeah yeah, yeah. Like, like the uh, green, oh the green room but they were oh. talking about they were talking about gang bangs and I'm like how can if you're if you're ten dudes about to do a gang bang. How can you stand naked behind another guy and be ready by the time you get up? Y'all there? ain't standing well, behind each other. Something. Man, y'all like hy- y'all like hyenas on a motherfucking gazelle's ass. Right. One nigga on the leg, other nigga on the titties, jacking right. his dick out. One nigga standing over her head, <laughs> tapping on her forehead. Right. One nigga banging, <laughs> nigga telling him to hurry up. The other nigga's in the corner <laughs> yeah. trying to get it hard because they can't get it. It's, it's, yeah. Every nigga oh position everywhere. Yeah. Like hyenas. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like hyena. Yeah, waiting on your turn. Yeah, and she having the time of her life. Well, I'm dirty is that, some, is that something you want to try, True? No, I just I need I want to go back in there again. 
Well, I saw it like ten. I saw it like fifteen years ago. But let me just say this: that's how a lot of niggas got their baby mamas back in the day. Cause it's always one nigga. They went to the green door. Who backed door the click? Yeah. And went and started kissing. Because while he was in there, he was kissing on her neck, uh, saying, "You ain't got to do this. I really like you." Oh, yeah. uh, let me make you mine. My now boy we, did that. Now we can't flip this bitch no more. Next thing you know, he got two babies by. Damn. So it's a lot yeah. of it's a lot of kids that yeah. were born because they the, the the daddy rescued the bitch from the flipping action. Right. Sorry, I, motherfucker. I totally agree. We could have flipped, kept flipping that hoe all through seventh and eighth grade year. <laughs> you ninth right. grade, you done got her pregnant. Now she fat. Right. Finding a motherfucker when we were flipping them. Yep. Yeah, dog, that's crazy. Mm. They were fine until they hit that age. What? <laughs> boy, Damn, they, true. Boy, listen, now, listen. When they start realizing uh, they was fine, and I ain't got to do this, and they had that baby, and then they let four more years slip by, and they have another baby, bitch, it's over with. Over. Yeah. BBL, that body, no. bitch. It's over with. It's over with. Because, but, uh, nah, yeah, it's some uh, some high moms. Oh, no. With kangaroo pouches. With Multiple cats. Yeah, with kangaroo pouches, that yeah. belly, that belly out oh front. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You mean no, oh, no, no, man. no, 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 no. Gucci no. purse. You got that right. Mm -hmm. Dang. So what? Uh, it's all beautiful anyway. So you're you're doing doggy style. You're doing comedy now. <laughs> yeah, 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 comedy. <laughs> yeah. Just but, like, uh, but doggy style, all of it look good. Even the flat ass spread. Yeah. Yeah. Bow up. Right. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm doing comedy now, man. Oh, uh, that was my that that was my whole goal. I just didn't know how to accomplish it. Uh, yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't know what to do, homie. You were, I, you were saying you you're saying what about writing jokes? Yeah, uh, I'm I'm learning punchlines. Uh, I'm. Just, I think you just got them. You, you, gotta, you, you just got to write them down. once you say? You say them all the time. I got them wrote down, but when I get on stage and it's a big ugly motherfucker sitting over there looking at me like this. Yeah, it's a, woman, it's a pretty woman right there. The lights is bright, man. You forget all that shit. You start sweating. What? I'm gonna yeah. show, I'm gonna no, show you heard. how to. I'm gonna show you. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. No, I've, heard, I've heard that from a lot of comedians. You know, we we've had a few on here. It's called stage fright. Well, no, it's just they're looking and they catch that one person. Yeah, oh, just yeah, that's one what, person. That's yeah, what yeah, said. Yeah, 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 one person ain't feeling you, and it and they will, it will fuck Sorry. with your and, mind. And then you got this pretty motherfucker looking at you, waiting for you to shine, and she don't know you nervous, and the crowd is, you know, the expectations of people. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. uh, the best advice I was given, uh, uh, a gospel single lady told me, uh, when you go out there, she said you see them. But you don't see them. Right. And just tap into your gift. So if I don't mm -hmm. look at the crowd, but I kind of glance over and I don't make, man, I do good all night. Yeah, but just boy, look if at I, them. Look, yeah. look over them. I'd, I'd say just start doing like jumping Once you make that eye contact, you're yeah. like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Uh, but if you heckle me, y'all going to get the best show out tonight. I, I'm good with hecklers. Right. Uh, but it's, it's learning to tell jokes. Uh, right. The punchlines. Uh, uh, I'm not a joke teller. I'm a funny storyteller. Well, we yeah. just do that. Are you yeah. like one of those comedians that like pick on people in the crowd and be like, uh -uh. "Oh, this motherfucker with the black shirt." If you keep him and his girl. If you fucking da -da -da. with me, yeah, yeah. If you fucking with okay, me. Okay, okay. Watch out, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> because I gotta come take pictures with you afterward. <laughs> and uh, I might can't get out of one of them motherfucking headlocks you can put me in while we taking pictures. So I'm trying not to bother that crowd. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, yeah. Have you had that spanky? Has anybody tried to fight with you? I put you in the headlock all the time, like several times. Yeah, I saw. Just I watched you're a comedian. I watched on TV one time. I saw Pauly Shore get punched in the face by a guy. I was but like, he's I not know. a comedian. Yeah, now, see, I never got punched in the face or nothing. But nigga yeah. pulled a gun on me before. Really? Yeah, because I was talking about his girl, and then he. Got oh my god! Him. How'd he get in with the gun? Nigga, this Detroit. I don't know. I'm I just kidding. Yeah, them, <laughs> yeah, them hoes. They don't search them girl good right. enough. Right. They yeah, showing yeah, yeah. the fuck though. Yeah, they don't search them girl good enough. No. And you can slide that broke ass nigga at the door. Fifty to a hundred dollars to let you get in, mm -hmm. cause the club might not pay him that night. Right. So if everybody got paid correctly and got paid well, most of the violence in, in, in these in, in hip hop right. establishments would decease. Right. But it's that it's that niggas ain't paying right. The promoter, the club owner might not. He go shout the door, nigga. The security nigga ain't got paid from last week, so he got to charge a little extra. So everybody got to play on the patrons, right? right. Yep. Uh, and, and in the process of playing on the patrons, everybody's <sighs> turning the blinds eye. To their security and safety, because it overall, that's the number one concern. No, that's why I, I owned a club from '01 to '05 in Detroit, and I always used to say I always paid attention to what was going on, and you could stop it if you're really paying attention. Yeah. You can stop it way before yeah. it's going to happen. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I feel like, but that's how the security would be 
Yeah. If they were getting paid right, you know, yeah. if they weren't exactly. getting paid right, they don't it's give all a fuck. It's all about money. Man. Yeah. It's all about if money. they're not getting paid right, they perks come from uh, letting the girls in that they can get the phone number from, might right. get some pussy from. Mm -hmm. right. uh, the guys who willing to pay two to three hundred dollars to let the shooter get the burner in. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. So you know that's the perks. Uh, then hustling the crowd. Making the line seem longer when ain't nobody in the motherfucking club, but the line wrapped around right. the building is on the ten. That's the that's the psychological part to play on the people. Oh man, they wouldn't right. have to do that if everybody would pay good. For real, yeah. and it's enough money in, in this hip hop industry, man. This is this a trillion dollar industry. I swear, uh, uh, from the top to the bottom. Who's your favorite hip hop artist? Uh, Tupac Shakur. Tupac. How you yeah, feel yeah. about KVD like getting locked up? Oh uh, man, this shit been so long that's been let that yeah yeah we shouldn't even be entertaining that homie. Right? Yeah, I think uh, it's just a distraction. It, it, right it now. is because mm -hmm. all, all all of this information have been known on the West Coast. Right, right? now been people people on down south Midwest might not know about this. Mm. The police have had all of this information. Right. Uh, the FBI ha ha have ha have had all of this information. How the fuck did KVD end up living in Green Valley? Oh, uh, that's like the nice white whitest uh, area you can be in now here. Yeah, they don't care no more. You got more. that government money. And, and, and so and so what 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 this is uh uh this is like a photo op. It's like having a bunch of black children uh that you look like you helping and saving. This is a photo op, right? So uh whatever politician that's involved in this, whatever mm. whatever whatever sergeant, whatever chief, whatever active law enforcement who's helped close out this case uh uh, there's gonna be new documentaries come in. Man, hold up. come on now. This shit, right. yeah, this, this ain't got nothing to do with you, that you, case. You think it ain't? You think they're gonna like Diddy's gonna get touched over this, uh, or it's well, just gonna well, be well, some mismatch? Well, I well, think so. Well, I think I think that's the FBI's angle. The FBI always go low to get high. Right. Right. So so they've been knowing this, homie. Yeah. Uh, th think about this. Uh, the FBI watched Whitey Bulger kill people. Right. They sat back and let him do it. Same with Sammy the Bull. Right. They made deals with people right. who've killed dozens of people right. just to go get bigger people. So they they've been knowing Keefe D been saying this. Right. So uh, why not get him to try to get this for whatever political reason, for whatever. Uh, it, it, this shit makes careers, homie. Big yeah. drug bus of uh, taking down rappers, uh, getting rappers convicted. Uh, this hip hop police. Many I was people, just about to say that. many people careers. Vlad uh, TV. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. Uh, 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 I, I would advise. Fuck you, Vlad. Uh, uh, I, I would advise people to ignore it. Tupac been dead long enough. We that's what I'm saying. This, 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 is, this is a yeah. This is a 27 years later. Come on, man. Ignore this it. is a distraction for something that's about to go on, but yeah. it, right. it don't even make no sense at all. But, uh, but KVD killed both of them. He killed Biggie and he killed Tupac. But, every, uh, I've been but, 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 years. but, but here's the thing. He's always said he didn't do it. Right. He always said it was Orlando. Yeah, you know, you know, even uh, well, he only said that because he died. Orlando they talked died. to. I just saw they talked to uh, TMZ. Talked to Suge Knight, and Suge Knight said Keefe D did not kill Tupac. He's always said that, so he's right. always been adamant about he wasn't and the one that he, in the car. And he said he seen who shot him, but he said it wasn't Keefe D. And the guys in the back said it was a big yellow arm in in, in, in one of the testimonies. He mm. said it was a big big yellow arm that came out that motherfucker. Hmm. So, uh, man, we don't know. It's like uh it's like aliens. Man, fuck that shit. This yeah. don't help us. They this don't. don't help us. This don't they help don't. us get out of whatever financial situation we in when we arguing about this shit at the at the bus stop and, and, and all that shit. Yeah. Man, they, they playing on us. Yeah, man. Yeah, they playing on it. And I don't want to say F Tupac because my life has been centered and revolved around his lyrics, right? Before he thugged it out, right? Before yeah. he got to death row. Uh, yeah, he, he, he me against the, the world. He was the, the best. He one. was the first rapper I ever heard mention and make reference to God, as right. if God really existed. And I loved it when he sat in that court case and he said he told that judge that he you never once looked me in the eye or my thing. So, uh, that was nuts. I yeah. thought every nigga did that, homie. I thought every nigga when they went to court stood up like Tupac did and talked to the judge and say with conviction to say he chastened the judge in the court system. Yeah. I didn't know niggas stood up, rolled and said, yes, sir, your honor, and take 40 years and didn't tear up the courtroom. I grew up. So that's so right. that yeah. that's what make me say, man, fuck the street niggas. Homie, they can say what they want about Tupac. You don't know now nigga stood up and talked to the judge like that no. with his life in his hand. And shot the police. Uh. Uh, they was off yeah. duty, uh, plain clothes. He didn't know that, and, and, yeah. he, and he said if he would have knew they were police, he wouldn't have done it. He said himself, if he if he would have knew, he wouldn't have done it. But the fact that he immediately done this, yeah. was seeing this happen, just lets you know uh, he was derailed in 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 his journey. 
uh, because he embraced gangsterism. Had yeah. he stuck with thug life, teaching the hate you gave little infants, fuck everybody. Have he stuck with that with that foundation mm -hmm. and, and got away from once he went to Holly M O B, you in now, nigga. Yeah, you fuck. You in now, nigga. Yeah. You in now, I nigga. I said that too. So uh but uh he was a good actor. He was none of what we what, what we thought he was. He was a ballerina. We was talking about ballerinas earlier. He, Man. he did ballerina. Yeah, what? You know oh. he calls himself four pack. I'm four pack, nigga. Some fat two oh, wait, you, you have a tatted on you? Yes. I oh. thought it was just a hot. Dude. I got I got no. made nigga tattooed on my back from shoulder to shoulder because Tupac made this own made nigga. For sure. Mm. Wow. I didn't yeah. even. I never. Yeah, I, I got it as soon as I got out the boys' home. Right for and, and you know because his death his death affected me. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah, yeah. He, he, man, I was what, eighteen, right? Nineteen the time he died. Yeah, and uh, that was a that was a very critical moment in time. I swear yeah. to God, uh, it changed everything. It, it left a mm -hmm. void, right? Yeah. Uh, but but it, it left a void, and then it 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 healed. It kind of healed gang banging because after that, it was it, gangsterism was kind of in the wash. So what come in? Trap music. Right, Master P, man, man, make dope crack like this, ghetto dope. So now niggas about hustling, doing right. business with one another, right? Right. So we went from being gangsterism to uh, drug traffickers, nigga, and that Light fueled, out. yeah, that fueled the mass in prison incarceration. Yeah, Jay Z, Jay Z started on. off. Like man, that. nigga, were getting ten years for a pound of weed, leaving right. leaving California, mm -hmm. trying to go back to Texas with two pounds. Oh right. yeah, nigga, were getting twenty years, homie. Damn. Nigga was getting a five year probation for an ounce of weed. And they're coming through Arizona, getting yeah. stopped in Oklahoma. You ain't lying. So so mm -hmm. we went from we jumped out the skillet into the frying pan. Uh and, and we and we embrace uh both aspects wholeheartedly. Right. Uh for for at least ten years in the nineties, before we start putting guns and, and shootings and videos, they put the outline traces of dead bodies. Mm-hmm. They put you black men, yeah. yeah. They you put they that. put black men. It's like priming people. Yeah, they put black men behind bars. Nigga right. were rapping behind bars. Right. So that was propaganda, if you let me tell it. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. So they did. That was they, the start of it. Why did they start? With, they stopped with the outlining and now. Start it's putting real tape. shooting. Right. This, what, and it got to where we at now. Remember, then it started putting the yellow tape, the yellow tape scene. People out there crying. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh. I, 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 I can't. I can't remember when uh, niggas come with the gun guns. Everything became about guns in the video. Right. Yeah, no, it, that's that's. It used to be about pretty women, cars, uh, clothes, uh, pretty houses. Mm -hmm. Uh, now it's about death. It, it really is. I mean, this. Who's your Who's your least favorite rapper? All of them. All of them. <laughs> All yeah, of them. I, I, I've heard that you had some controversial stuff uh, yeah, man, recently I don't about like, man, all I don't the new like, rappers. Uh, I don't like none of you motherfucking niggas today. You're man. like not feeling sexy red. No, I don't like no, none. I don't like her either. Oh, uh, because because the group before them was kind of college students. Plies was a college student. Uh, 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 Ice Cube. Was, these yeah. were intellectual guys, right? Yeah. Yep. This group here is dumb. That's why right. they mumbling. They all dumb. Yeah, this is a dumb group. That's why they can't talk about nothing. The, the mumble rappers. They, they don't. They don't have a. a, a they don't have a vernacular. They, uh, don't. they don't have a wordplay. This group here is dumb. This the group. Yeah. This the group where they didn't have no books to take home after school. But they're still looking at it as like, oh, I just made this money. Uh, That's well, cool well, they made the money in their hand, and that's all they got. Right. If you look at their bank accounts, they don't have no money. They sleeping on the air mattress. Uh, if 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 you look at the people around them, they haven't. They just made more money than the people around them, and, and, and it's an illusion. Right. Uh, you think you gotta sell your soul to be like actually super? Yes. Like yes. wealthy or yes. like famous in yes. in that in that yeah. scene? You believe in the Illuminati thing? Uh, in some sort of way. Yeah. Oh, uh, I I believe in a secret society. Yeah, uh, I do too. Yeah, I I, I, I don't think I don't I don't think we know the name of it. Mm. Uh, because it's that much of a secret. You're right. Uh, because if it did exist, we wouldn't be so able to freely talk about it. Right. Yeah. There wouldn't be well, no think, information about I it. I think they let a lot of people talk about it because it just causes confusion. Well, uh, they, it's the lack of knowledge, right? 
uh, that causes the confusion. None of us have the real knowledge. Exactly. And those of that do, uh, we sound crazy saying it to a bunch of people. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, they, yeah, 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 yeah. That's when they make you seem crazy. Uh, that that's why they have uh government documents that none of us can see. Do you think right. that they're gonna clone you? Mind control. Uh, no. <laughs> be, be, because it, 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 it's 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 Charles uh, Dwight. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's oh, hard. It, it's, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard for me to be, to believe in clones because how can you clone my soul? How can you clone my charisma? You ever when, seen yeah. Black Mirror? When, uh, when, when, when I go home oh, to my weird. When, when I go home to my mama. Weird. Mm, she, she gonna know, know her baby. She gonna know. Yeah. Just like she know if you bring a kid to her that that ain't your baby. L let me just say this. Uh, for the people who leave home chasing stardom and celebrity, right? Whenever you come back home, depending on what you done, your family can see the darkness in your eyes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can smile and they know you done done something to get where you. So I didn't want to be the person who come back home and my mom will be looking me in my eyes and saying, man, my baby ain't. The, you, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because if some people have to do some things where homie, they soul darkens. What? To keep this light on. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see 100%. what I'm saying? So, yeah. so, so. Sell the dark to keep so, the light. So, so I'm saying, Shut. yeah, you can clone my body. How can you clone my soul, my mind, my will, and my Spirit, emotions? Yeah. How, how can you get this clone to respond to Spanky, how Charleston respond to people? How can you get him to well, do Who do they say, for one? I mean, did I? Did somebody say uh, Dave heard, Chappelle's clone? I mean, I, I heard that before. I, I heard Gucci Man was cloned. Was. Gucci Man. But yeah. when you go back home to your people, they know. They know. Many people yeah. know you all your life. Right. Right. Oh. Right. But maybe they don't care. Oh, uh, now nah, they care. Deep man, down. Deep down. man, Pope motherfucker care about everything. Right. That's why they always <laughs> fighting and squabbling. Right. And they squabble over celebrities. Right. So it would be it would be some real fights if Gucci Man was a clone. Mm. It'd be some real fights. Because we are that in tune into our celebrity where we have real arguments at family reunions. Hell this yeah. is our discussions in barbershop, celebrity lives. It ain't our lives. Right. We are so focused on celebrity lives. If these niggas will clone, man, we'll be screaming, he clone, he clone, and be proven information. Uh, how can you say a man is clone when he came home to do better? All of us grow up, brain development, get off drugs, mm. and all of us meet a good woman and bring out the best in us. Amen. He met, oh. he met a good Not woman. Las Vegas. Showed up Amen. in the prison system, didn't run off with his money. That happened to me. Come on, so uh, so why, why would we discredit all the things that help him get here to right. be this kind of man that you take his gold teeth out. He ain't got the fat belly no more. Man, he used to kick women in the head. <laughs> right. He's a loving mm. father now. Why would they clone him to be better? Why, yeah. why, why would these elite and powerful people clone him to be a family man and not a gangster that'll still be playing like he don't care about the guy he killed? Right. Are you a Takashi 6 9 fan? Yes. I love him. I like him too. I love. I thought you him. said you hate everyone. Oh, I don't hate that boy. I love that. You kid. love Takashi. I, like I hate everyone else. I want. I want, I want, I want to go to lunch with him. I want to talk to him. Uh, yeah, I want to have a fight over him. Me you, too, man. Yeah, I would. I want to have a bar fight over Takashi Six Nine. Man, that's my dog. Shaki. I fuck yeah. with him. I love it. Yeah, and him. then I just want to say, while everybody was rooting for him to get his ass kicked and somebody kill him, did nobody go make them two guys bond and done something to him? No, no. Lil Boosie talked like he was going to make his bond. Didn't nobody make his bond. They clapped for him. So you see how they want y'all to crash out because they won't do it. And right. then did nobody go make their bond? And they in some serious trouble. Yeah, yeah they in some serious trouble. Yeah, they yeah. They ambushed that. Because girl. that's aggravated assault. When you put right. the aggravated, the injuries you call cause it to be <coughs> an aggravated crime. Right. So now they plead. But now, nah, homie, I think what he did was admirable. I think what he did was honorable amongst thieves because there's right. no honor amongst thieves. Never. Never have you, been. You nigga, nigga, no. Uh, mm. They are going to kill him. Uh, nigga, yeah, you they fucking. They kept talking about you it, but nobody did it. You fucking my woman, nigga. Right. Yeah, and robbing him. Making I done told to. Making them moan. And they playing the tape for me. Listen to this, Tashaki. And she moaning how she moaning. I'm going to tell them every last one you nigga. Y'all yeah, right. shoving that dick off my woman. She sounding like that. Man, Greg, what y'all want to know? Right. <laughs> Man, I'm going to tell it. Call him from my phone. Then, yeah, then, then they done played me a tape saying, y'all know we the one kidnapping. They the one did me like this. They done scared me like this. I'm crying. Then peed on myself. And they laughing in the background. Man, th because that's what the feds do. Mm. Uh, the feds uh, play your wife the tape of you cheating on her mm. to get her to talk. Right. Uh, oh, they don't play by man. no rules. Right. So uh, I'm saying if you go become a criminal, uh, 
Who let this non-criminal in? Who let this non-criminal in? John Gotti did not want Sammy the Bull to be amongst them because he hadn't done no time. Right. He hadn't done no, all of them had done time. So it had been proven that they wouldn't talk. Mm. So who would let this Mexican kid into a black blood game? Daniel Hernandez. Right. Yeah. Who let him in? He got rainbow hair, uh, Skittles teeth. Who let him into this murderous game? And y'all doing real crime. Right. Where he get enough information and he get to be a high ranking member where he get to call hits. Who did? So they deserve everything they got. Why are we mad at him? I'm not mad at him. And then when did Mexicans have loyalty to black people? The plug tell on the niggas to come buy the dope from them. Mm -hmm. And they get less time. The Mexican cartel get way less time than the niggas on the corner selling the dope. Right. The Mexican cartel, the, the plug give up the niggas that buy the dope. Oh, yeah. So it's no loyalty. Long as he didn't tell on no Mexicans, he done good to me. Hmm. He done damn know. good to me. Yeah, he... I give it to him. Yeah, he done damn good. I would have did the same thing. Yeah, and every, everybody that was saying they were going to touch him, they didn't. I Nobody mean, he touched got, him. He, well, he got he got it by just some no name. Out he of got gym. it by two Puerto Rican niggas because he said fuck Puerto Rico at that baseball game drunk. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, they got him. I mean, I didn't understand why he was working out at the gym like a. He was asking for it. He in there chasing dick or something. Them little old bitty panties. <laughs> right. He what the fuck he doing back there? Them little old bitty draws. Yeah. And man. they he catch his ass kicking like that. <laughs> And some the thunk thunk. He's at like a twenty four hour fitness. Yeah, that nigga had on Superman draw. Yeah, yeah that nigga got it. He took a man. He had yeah. He laying on his back with them legs up and there with them little bit of draws on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He asked for it. Yeah, he did. He had nobody with him. Not yeah. even one friend. His hair wasn't done. He was out there. He dropped, ready. Yeah, he was trying to freak. I'm telling yeah. you, that was that's why God punished him. Right, man. Right, that's crazy, yo. What is uh so traveling around? What's your favorite state to go to? Detroit. Oh uh, uh, yeah, D Detroit one of them. <laughs> no, no, right. uh, shout nah. out Detroit. No, nah, no, nah, uh, you know uh, I I fuck with Anton Daniel, so uh, he he one of the first people to ever bring me to Detroit. So I I've been going to Detroit once a month for almost over a year. Mm. Uh, yeah. so I, I I stay in a presidential suite at the MGM Grand when I go. Uh, yeah, I get to play trick out there, and they treat me real nice and kind because I play trick. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tip good and. Uh yeah yeah I go buy all the best weed and pay the high prices for it that the niggas locally don't pay. Mm. Uh yeah 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 <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah yeah uh, that sounds like baller shit. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh and yeah. I get to go to the Detroit Pistons uh uh games and sit courtside seat and watch them niggas tennis shoes squeak up and down the floor mm. uh while they high five the white Jewish kids with their jerseys on. Mm -hmm. Yeah don't be no black kid down there. So uh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Be all Jewish kid. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Oh shit! So and then I noticed, uh, yeah, real rich people don't put diamonds in their watch. All the people who I see sitting on the front row, the Jews that own the uh, the season tickets, the courtside, mm -hmm. none of them have diamonds in their watch. All the diamond watch nigga be back there. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they take the value down. So I, I will pay. I pay attention to to certain details. Uh, Do you study like human psychology all the time? Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, for for ten years, I sat behind the bar, uh, and just watched and studied people, uh, mm. at a, at an after hour spot that I ran, uh, with the old man pops. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I worked with their kids during the daytime and watched them drunk ass, ignorant, crazy mamas and gangster daddies at nighttime, mm. fight and shoot and kill one another. Uh, carry over to the next day. So I. I I sit back and I watch human interaction. So if I'm somewhere in the club, I'm watching how everybody interacting amongst each other. Uh, and, and if you do that, you can pay attention and, and sense danger. Hmm. Uh, because yeah, oh, yeah. 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 And then little guys time. always see the danger first anyway. Yeah, we yeah. always smell uh, it. Like, okay, they look. Yeah, and look I got them. one eye, so I see better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What y'all see, uh, what I see, y'all will never see because y'all have two eyes. Hmm. How do you only have one eye? What happened oh, I got now? a prosthetic right eye. Playing with a homemade slingshot. So when they say, uh, don't play oh with that, you'll put gosh. your eye out. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a reason why they said that. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason why. Yeah. Damn. How is it living in Dallas? Uh, it's uh, Do you have a good fan base there? Are people mad yeah, at you? Yeah, like, nah, what, nah, uh, you good in uh, your area? Uh, I'm good down south. So only people mad at me is the gangbanging states. Okay. Uh, Chicago, New York, uh, California, uh, the gangbanging state. But mm. down south... East Coast, uh, man, they love me. Midwest, yeah. yeah, they love me because 
it's an uncle like me and they family. Because right. you speak your mind. Yeah. Uh, in the gang banging state, they'll kill uncle talking like that. Yeah, they yeah. will. They'll beat him up because he OG such and such. Because uh, you're going against like, so, some code. So, so uh, at, at some point, gangs just became a a a a, a bully organ organization, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, they wasn't diplomatic. So they bullied everybody. Right. Uh, only to go to jail and become friends with the people they either bullied or, or the people that they call enemies. Uh, under 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 one reason, cause we both black. Right. What, what do you what do you think of Wack One Hundred? Oh, uh, you think he's a legit gangbanger? He's just no nah, man. <laughs> ain't ain't no gangbanger running clubhouse. Oh, uh, <laughs> he probably was a gang. I've never even been on Clubhouse, uh, but man, he's he probably, on there every fucking day. He probably was a gangbanger. Oh, uh, but yeah, I think he was at uh, some point. But but Rat Wack is uh taking advantage uh, uh, of the situation. So a uh, game recognized game. Oh, mm. uh, mm. uh, he's a he he's a game related nigga playing gang related. He ain't gang related. Yeah. He he a game related nigga. He real sharp. Uh he's cunning. Yeah. Oh. Uh, He's everything the industry loves. Uh, and he know how to put chess pieces together. Whether he win the game or not, he know how to put pieces together, bring people together. Uh, and that's his strength. Uh, so you got to, you, you gotta, the nigga come from driving uh, a chauffeur for Suge Knight to uh, really like the premier gatekeeper over here. On Back 100 was driving a limo for Suge yeah. Knight? And, yeah. and trucks. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, but no, nah, no, nah, he, he, uh, man, uh. I, I I get a nigga his kudos. I don't like him, uh, because he 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 come off with the with with the, uh, I I hate to hear a grown black motherfucker you, hollering, man on crip on you, Piru. You know he uh, you know he said I I don't remember when it was, but you know he he actually said something nice about you. I want to say it was probably within the, within the month. Yeah, I, I was watching on. something and he was like, you know what? He's like every he's like I was mad at first and everybody I'm gonna go get this guy. I'm gonna do, and he's like. He fucking shows up and nobody does shit. Uh, he's I, like, I, you can only respect that. Uh, uh, I talk <laughs> like to him. I heard him say that. I, I, I talked to him. Oh, uh, we know somebody that knows somebody. He called me. Were you? Are you on? Were you on Clubhouse? Man, I I was on Clubhouse one day. I had a twenty four hour straight uh, room and broke the record. I uh, mm. came back a year later. Uh, broke the record again. Yeah, I never went uh, on there. I, I was on there like four or five. Th- I just do it for one day and don't go back for months because I don't see the benefit. Oh, mm. uh, I took a business leadership class at Texas Western University while I was trying to become a lawyer. Oh, uh, mm. and, and, and I learned in the business leadership class that the, the difference, uh, the return on investment and return on energy. Those are the two components in business, mm. your, your investment and your energy. Right. So why would I go put my energy over here where there's no investment? They don't get nothing. Mm-hmm. Right. And it's a bunch of motherfuckers just arguing and we can't even see each other. How you know you ain't talking to the police? Right. Like you are it's, talking to the public. No, Come on. I, I Actually, definitely I already, thought that multiple I thought times that, when I, I was on Clubhouse. I, 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 you I can't just, even see this motherfucker. I just Seriously. heard about it and I said, How do you really know it's him? That was yeah. hella sketch shit going on in Clubhouse. Yeah. Right. So uh yeah. uh yeah, I think I think it just became a a a, 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 a place where niggas can try to get pussy. R- you know, run rooms. It started so. off like that. Uh you know, because when I started seeing niggas were running rooms, but you be hearing shit in the background. And I be saying, well, these niggas must don't run the household. Because you don't hear them niggas say, hey, stop. Sit your ass down somewhere. <laughs> say, right. baby, will you get me? You don't hear them niggas say none of that. Right. So that's what made me start getting on the internet. And all you bitch ass niggas don't eat breakfast in the morning, nigga. You niggas don't make your bed. Because I'm eating breakfast talking shit to you niggas. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm nigga, I'm getting, shit nigga I'm, I'm getting cooked meals, niggas. Nan, right. nanny, boo, boo, and you niggas. Niggas, you <laughs> niggas being mean to me and ain't ate breakfast. Right. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> 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 Man, is it, they do, hangry. Do, pe- do people get a, do people get a kick out of it when you answer the phone like the like yeah. the surprise oh, you answer? Man. Oh, they love it. This, so 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 this, this is what most people get. They get intimidated. Uh, uh uh I got the wrong number. And then they'll text me back and say, "Man, I'm a big fan of yours." Uh and then I'll block them. Coward motherfucker. Uh, right. You'll block <laughs> them? Yeah, but you put your number your number on the internet. They'll text you and then you block them. Yeah, yeah, because you a coward to me. You're, oh, you're, you're gonna call me and don't say be you a got, coward. You're gonna right. call me and say you got the wrong number. Only to text me to say you're a fan. Right. Oh, uh, most niggas. They wanna, were shy. Listen, but well, well, that's, that's no. They said they, they, they set out. 
They set out to say some shit. Yeah, they're letting yeah. her yeah. in her but bitch, okay? The phone. Well, let it be. So, let her go. So after, yeah, let, after, her go. After, let her go. After two years of this, that's why I travel with no security. Mm. If I have an event, I get security. Mm. But I travel around this country with no security. Because I realize most niggas don't want to hurt me. They are really fans, right? right? Who was offended by something I said. No, I actually, I actually saw that today. I, I, I think I was telling my, some of my video team people over here when you when we went in the Lolos. Yeah. You know, you have a good aura. Yeah. And people, you know, all them people jumping up and running over to whatever, and, and they some of them probably were shit talkers. Yeah. Of yours. Yeah. Of oh, but the mm -hmm. fact I, the way your aura but they're is, your, like biggest fans. It's it's, it's harmless. So yeah. why would they want to oh, do it, that? If I was a big motherfucker talking like this, I would have been dead. If I had muscles, or uh, if, if 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 I was a real uh, street guy in the streets talking right, like this, right. uh, I've never done harm to my community. Uh, I've never raped nobody. I've never killed nobody. Hmm. Uh, I wasn't a guy beating up, kicking on people. Uh, I was a likable guy in school, nigga. Right. I'm the life mm -hmm. of the party. Uh, so uh, who I am uh, is who I am. What did Soldier Boy do exactly when he got maced? Did he fall down? Did he uh, start crying? He did just what dogs do when they get maced. <laughs> Try to get that shit off their face, but running in circles for you. Yeah, dogs, yeah, they run in circles. Uh, because, because one, 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 one of... And, man, uh, that, they, this, this, this I, would, you, I would, I've always in my life just been like, I just want a, an ex girlfriend. I just want to mace her ass. Oh, uh, listen, this how, this how you know. <laughs> Is that how you uh, feel? Yeah. Uh, this, Damn. Uh, this how you know I'm serious about this shit. Because one of the elements of macing a person is it causes you to be delusional. Right. <laughs> oh, because what, what it does to your senses. You can't uh, think. It fucks them all oh, up. Man, what, oh, man. Oh, fuck. Overstimulates. Say, listen. What he, was his friends doing when he was doing Watching <laughs> him. Right. Because. Uh, they always watch the big homie. So, so listen, man. Ain't nobody uh, stepping up. They're like, I got, no, I, I, got, I, got I got OC gas. This ain't just no regular mace. I got OC gas. It's thick and it's orange and it's gooey. Mm. So it, it, it's just some, man, it's some, man. And I sprayed a lot on his face. He said. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. And I sprayed a lot Straight on his face. like that. Damn. Oh, man, I would love to see how you. You. Were you like, like, how did you feel after doing that? Uh, I felt like Denzel Washington at the end of train day when he was out there in the apartment saying, I'm King Kong, ain't got shit on me. That's how I felt. I'm because, on top of the world. Because that's how I started talking. Because right. Who's next? Uh, <laughs> His friends. Uh, I had no idea where I was. Well, I didn't know the Rolling Loud was the Rolling Loud. Uh, oh, is that what it was? That was the, the concert going on out there? Miami Rolling Loud. Okay. Uh, so he approached me with like 10, 11 guys. Oh. Uh, Ain't that funny how none of the other guys did anything? And, and, and he and he's smaller than me. Yeah, no, Soldier seen, Boy's smaller than you. I seen Soldier Boy at that. Holy small. shit! And you're yeah, we're small. Like the same size. I'm small, you and me, we're like the same that size. That nigga's small. He's shorter than everything. Yeah. So uh, and, and he had on flip flops. Mm. Oh, oh, not God. the flip flops. Oh. Flip flopper. Uh oh. He wasn't oh. ready. I hate see, the flip flopper. He wasn't see, ready. Don't see, catch yourself slipping. Mm -hmm. Never. See. See, part of the problem with today's black guys is... I'm surprised uh, he didn't fall down when he was going in circles with flip-flops on. Uh, he could have sprained his ankle. Oh, uh, he, he used to wearing them, so uh, uh, it, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't a combative situation. But th this is the problem with today's young black boys. What did he do? Did he run up on you? He walked up on me. He walked up and he just came face-to-face -face with you? With a bunch of guys. Wow. Uh, so I maced all of them. Wow. I just didn't mace I maced all of them. See, the, the problem with these guys today is they're a one-trick pony. Right. All they know is a gun. Yeah, they're okay. one trick pony, right? So if they ain't got no they don't gun, know how to fight anymore. they don't know how to fight. They, they go, they got, they, so they keep a clique of guys with them, right? Right. So they between them swinging like girls and kicking like bitches, they somebody go, they go break your nose, kick your teeth out, and all that, right? right. So, uh, I just want to level the playing field. So, uh, the police got a gun, mm. they got a taser, they got a billy club. Uh, they got mace. Right. So they got a whole lot of elements on their belt. Nigga, there ain't no one trick pony. Same with the military. Mm -hmm. They got knives. So, nigga, in my mind, because I grew up in an era where we played cops and robbers, mm -hmm. uh, cowboys and Indians, and we also played G.I. Joe. Right. We had military men. Uh, the I, whole I bag of plastic right. motherfuckers. Right. And them motherfuckers didn't move. Right. You got one laying on the ground. So, yeah. 
you had to critically think to play with these stiff motherfuckers. And it was 120 of them in there. Right. And you didn't want to lose no piece. So you put a piece here, you put a piece up there, and this your room, your war ground. So playing as a kid, homie, we did this outside, homie. You ain't lying. They was, they was training this then. So critical thinking that. skills, right? So when I, So as I grow up, I'm from the South. Every old man I know got a knife on him. Mm. I want to give him he a little bitty motherfucker. You better not bother him. He go, you, you see what I'm saying? Right. So, so I'm a tactical thinking guy. I got one eye. I weigh 120 some pounds, and I've been a bad little motherfucker all my life. And you study psychology. And so, and so, right. as a small guy, a right? Weapon. So, 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 as a small guy, your 40 pounds make you a weapon over me, nigga. Mm. And I know there's niggas that's bigger than me. I always like to talk about what they'll do to somebody smaller than them. Right. You never heard two big motherfuckers. That, nigga, I'll break. They never say they that. They never say You that. never see two vipers get in the pit. It's always one stronger and one weaker. Definitely. All mm -hmm. the fights are set up like that. You never see two vipers get in the pit together. Mm -hmm. I know this. So, nigga, I'm a viper. Right. Nigga, you might be bad. You might be tough. But, nigga, I'm dangerous if you bother me. So, I keep a pen, a knife. I was taught. If somebody bothered you, you pick something and you hit them with it. I mm -hmm. wasn't taught to fight, nigga. You were right. taught to fight. I was taught to grab something and use it as a weapon. Mm -hmm. So all my fight got weapons in it. Right. So I keep a knife to poke you in all soft tissue areas, mm -hmm. neck, throat, eyes. All I, your fights. I thought you said you were. Oh, I keep, I keep, I keep mace. Oh, I keep mace because I know niggas like to group up. Mm. Nigga, that, 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 that mace. The whole crowd. Come on, homie. Yeah. You got and so you and so so what Soldier Boy and them did, homie. Uh, uh, they allowed me an opportunity to go viral because they not no real bad niggas. Right. Real bad nigga would have let my ass have it, homie. One nigga would have sacrificed getting the mace so the rest of them can get him. Mm. Rush him and take it and all that just to make contact. So when I make, so when they walking up on me, I didn't even think about that. Uh, I'm in a corner, so they got me in a corner, homie. I'm boxed in the corner. Oh, so. That's so it. Oh, uh, no, because I saw them park, get out the car, put their shoes on, tie their shoes up. I got time to think. I'm a kid who was taught to critically think. So as an adult, I'm a critical thinker. Mm. I'm not a standardized test kid. I'm not a one-trick pony. Right. So I already know if I travel somewhere, nigga, when you get off that plane, get you a weapon. When I went to Queens Flip, I had the, the corkscrew from the from the hotel the, with the thing to stick out. Mm. I was by myself. So... I'm seeing them come toward me. So I'm watching the body language. Nobody smiling. Mm. Ain't nobody saying, yeah, nigga, what's up? Woo, woo, woo. So when he get in front of me, he say, I want to talk. You lying to me, nigga. Not with all these motherfuckers. What can me and you talk about? <laughs> right now. You and your crew. Right. If you want to talk, why your crew coming? Right. Because where we from, while me and you talking, somebody in the crew for the join. Oh, yeah. yeah. So let me, let me, uh, Think first and act now. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah that nigga went to turn in circles asking questions, saying, Bruh, you trip. Did you mace me? I would say, he said, Bruh, did you mace me? I said, Yeah, nigga. He said, I just want to talk. Then I went to turn it into Denzel Washington. Nigga King Kong ain't got shit on me. Y'all got me fucked up, nigga. Yeah, I don't want to talk now, motherfucker. I was talking bad and tough then, right. boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because I saw they didn't know what to do. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw they didn't know what to do. That's they, right, yeah. too, when you said that, man. One person could have sacrificed, just come in and just yeah. take you down. Oh, yeah. And yeah. then every, but they weren't ready. This this what I know, homie. You got all of them. This what I know. I've done nothing to nobody to cause that kind of reaction. I'm a nigga online talking and don't none of y'all know me. Right. It's some niggas that you've had problem with in your real life that requires that. You give him a pass to come get me online. So I know this. So when I leave my house, I'm ready to die. What do you mean? I pay my insurance every month. Nigga, that's how you know. Right. People who ain't ready to die don't pay the insurance. They live right. life as if they're going to live forever. So I make sure insurance policy is paid, right? Oh. Uh, who does the insurance money go to? The kids. The kids. Right. Fuck who? That's all that matters. Yeah. The wife, good. the mama, everybody else. Everybody who love me go get some money. Mm. So everybody who I fuck with, I say, man, go put insurance policy on me. I'm going to put one on you. If I fuck with you, put one on me. <laughs> oh, I, I tell all girls, every nigga you fuck uh, with, put insurance policy on me. If y'all break up, just keep paying it. 
Mm-hmm. Because he gave you permission to do it. And when y'all break up, keep paying. That's what grandma and them did. Right. Grandma and them had insurance policy on every nigga they gave pussy to more than three times. Right. When this nigga died, she, grandma got some money coming from nowhere. And they were killing a lot of them niggas when they were working up under them car. Going to go hit that jack accidentally. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, so, so, so when I come out my house, when I come out my house, uh, I don't want to be at the restaurant, man, and, and something happened, and I can't get me and my kids out. I can't defend. Uh, uh, it's people in the world looking for trouble and looking to hurt people. Oh, yeah. Every uh, day. I'm looking to self defend. Yeah, who was this? Uh, who was the other guy you made this? This guy that you the had boxer, the boxing match the with? Boxer. I don't even know that nigga, homie. Mm. I don't even know what that nigga was so mad about. I I gave him an opportunity to fight. Fuck, he mad for right. And he came up and he pushed you, so that's basically assault. Oh uh, well, uh, I got some mace gloves. So in my mind, I'm coming to Arizona on the West Coast, where there's a lot of gang bangers at. So it's possibly, you know, nigga might want to do something. So when I realized, when, when I got there, I realized uh, my security is, is not a big issue. I came by, I came by myself, my nigga, me and my little mama. Right. So uh, my nigga ain't there, uh, my cat, so I'm there by myself the first day. Uh, the second day, uh, I'm saying they want me to Uber to this event. Nigga, they got a thousand niggas from L.A. out here. Mm. Somebody want to get at me. Right. And I'm ready to be get at. Yeah, I'm ready. Nigga, I'm ready. Nigga, I'm ready to self-defend. Right. Uh, because I'm in a stand your ground state. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm on Uber there. What if a nigga outside waiting on me? Because they know I'm coming. Right? Mm-hmm. What if I'm walking through the crowd mm-hmm. and a nigga boom, boom, boom? So I'm thinking, homies just like planning for a trip. Uh, if, if if they taught this shit in school, homie, our kids would be great in their thinking abilities. Uh, when we did fire drills and tornado drills, all that type mm. of shit, homie. So they don't. So, man, I forgot about the. So fire. so yeah. so I'm I'm that so, brought me back like. Oh, uh, so so I'm Same. thinking. So so I'm thinking about this at the hotel. So what I said. So I said, well, how 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 can I disguise the the gloves? Because the the mace is small on my hand, but they want to know why I got on two gloves. Mm. So I put on my boxing suit. So the suit hang up over over my arm. Mm. Uh, I got my taser right here. Uh, I put on both gloves just in case I got to get every. Ain't no telling what. So this ain't for him. No, nah, nigga, this mace ain't for him. I ain't bringing no mace to no way in for him. Yeah. This for possibilities in the crowd. Right. Because I don't have no security. So I got to play security in boxer now. So when I get there uh, and a nigga push me like that. I'm saying, man, why this nigga steady fucking with me? Why he steady putting his hands on me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I hit this motherfucking ass with that jail, man. <laughs> <laughs> and more people right. oh, man, that wasn't real. Uh, the room dispersed. It's just right. the cameras went off. Right. Uh, it, it took. Who, did he cry more than Soldier Boy did? He ran off. <laughs> because he wasn't expecting it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Soldier Boy just ran in circles. <laughs> uh, but you gonna run. Oh yeah. You either go run to it or run from it. It's just like pimping. You either go run to it or run from it. You got uh, any like major beef with anyone right now? Not that I know of. Not uh, that you I, know of. Oh, uh, I didn't know I didn't have no beef with that nigga. I don't know what he was tripping for. Nigga, I, I Did you ever end up fighting him? I got no. disqualified. For Mason? Or uh, Arizona Boxing Commission. Oh my god. Yeah, I can't box right now. They they won't sanction me to fight no more. Uh now wow. I lost a, I lost I lost a hundred some thousand dollars. Even though he mm. pushed you first. Uh, yeah, that's basically a That's part of the way in shit they say. Oh, fuck that. Mm. That's what I yeah. said. You don't touch me, nigga. Yeah, don't touch yeah, yeah, me, yeah, nigga. yeah. Pimping is a non-contact sport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nigga. We supposed to be up for uh, yeah, we supposed to be up for WWE in it to sell the ticket. You want to yeah. fight outside the ring? Okay, you gonna get hurt. All right. So the second time I had to hit him in the head with that pig poker. Mm. Uh, there was a second time? It was three times. Mm. It was the at the pool or at the way in and then at the elevator. Now he fucking with me at the elevator, and we at the hotel. Oh, uh, who was this guy? Like, why? Where did this fight even he come from? from? L.A. It was a celebrity boxing match. But, but well, what, who did, is what is he? he? Who is he? What, what does he do to be a celebrity? Mm. He in Hollywood. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All the cele- all the niggas on the West Coast know. So, him. Are, so you mm. consider yourself a celebrity? Hell yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a motherfucker. Okay. So, yeah, you, so, you, in, so you in Hollywood? So you so you sold your soul. Uh, I can't wait till they offer it. 
I'm going to. <laughs> yeah, for, I'm letting you know Hollywood, How much? Alum, How much? Illuminati, oh my or just $5 million. Just, I don't want to go past five. $5 million. I don't want no more than $5 million. Well, if, if you if, hear that. If, if you ain't never had $1 million, $1 million is enough. Hmm. Man, mama, give you $1 million, you ought to be right, right for the rest of your life. You ain't never had it. And you've been all right without it. Mm-hmm. If you take that concept, nigga, if I flop right now, I ain't never had this much money before how I done lost. Right. At this point, you can't lose unless you go to prison forever. Then you're fucked up. Come on now. Yeah. Oh, uh, if you die, every story, every video, your family can capitalize. They smart. Hmm. Man, uh, all your videos. What you mean? All you, what you mean? How? You, you, don't you got a YouTube channel? Don't you got this? Don't you got that? Oh, that's gonna skyrocket. So your family is gonna be good. Oh, uh, like a motherfucker. They good right now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they good right now. Oh, uh, because, no, because, good. Good. B- because all, all my money have been independently made. Mm. Uh, because I've been shadow banned and stripped from social media money because I'm so uh, offensive and, and abrasive with my rhetoric. Mm. Uh, I really, I really push hate for rhetoric. Uh, I really tell people it's okay to hate something. It's mm. our right to hate. What do you hate right now? Uh, everything. Mm. You hate everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I heard well, you earlier. Well, I, you were like, I, 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 listen, I love. I, I love hate. This guy. I hate Israel. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm rocking with Palestine, right? Because all of our life, they done made it seem like Israel been right. How can it, how can one group be right all the time? Mm. So what I know from school, right? The person who throw the first lick never get caught. It's always the person who throw the second one. Mm-hmm. And they're saying, Palestine is saying, we're doing this out of response to what they did. I stand with Palestine. Mm. Mm. Okay. And I think Hitler was a great man. I think he was too. I love Hitler. I love Hitler. Yeah. Because I got Jewish kids like Aiden Ross who say <laughs> who who say they love King Von. Mm. And, and in the last 10 years, who have been more prolific of a black serial killer than King Von? According to FBI documents and, and, and law enforcement records. Mm-hmm. Right, exactly. So how can a Jewish kid love King Von and I can't openly love Hitler and not be shamed for it? He was against the Illuminati. <laughs> He's he comparing against, King he Von to Hitler. Oh uh, well, well, well. If if Hitler got to live as long as if, if King Von got to live as long as Hitler, he would have been a Hitler too. Like this. Mm. In the name of BD. Yeah. Come on now, let's be real. If he got to live as long as Hitler lived. Mm. And with the kind of money he, he was about to acquire, right. it would be more dead black children because of him. Yeah. Because he was a monster. Come on now. He was a monster. He made killing people sound so good in his music. Mm-hmm. And he really killed people. And he was handsome. And they worshipped him because he was a killer. Mm-hmm. And only reason he gained infamy is because he killed five people and got out because the witnesses came up dead. They don't talk about that. Mm-hmm. But it's all documented. And our famous celebrities, these other mm. idols, go and take pictures in front of his mural mm. with all that blood on his feet. Yep, that's true. That's fucked. Mm. But they're but they Those I'm supposed but but I'm but, but I'm supposed to be in fear. That's why I don't go I don't get no security. And then listen, he didn't even really blow up until he died. Come on now. Yeah, well even yeah. even them saying little Dirk was his best friend or whatever, little Dirk definitely wasn't. I don't look at him no. as he was on the killer. No. Uh, Especially with that song uh, he just came out uh, with. We really didn't hear about Nipsey until he died. True. I did. I lived down the street from him, but yeah. I know what you're saying. Most most people down south, man, we didn't know. We couldn't sing none of his songs. Uh, I never heard his whole album played. When you say until, down south, what do you mean by down uh, south? The southern states. Right. Get hey. past Arizona, you in the south. And then I know what you're saying because Nipsey's first music was all Crip, 60s Crip shit. I lived in Inglewood, so my niggas wasn't even listening to that. Yeah. They was like, I don't fuck I with lived that. off yeah. Imperial and Vermont for almost 11 months. That's crazy. Even in LA, they run really bumping it. Now, when you go no. in certain stores, uh, right. they wasn't even really bumping it. Uh, I mean, it was more Uzi Vert, more Drake was on the, on, on the open radio. Right. Right? So, I would hang out with the A-Trays. Uh, they didn't mourn when Nip died. Mm. Nigga, I was at the park fucking with them niggas, homie. So they wasn't affected by that. They wasn't fans of his music. Lil Sody was beefing with him at the time. Right. So I'm saying, why wait till they die to, to honor the character and not embrace the man? Right. So when I, went, when I went to his funeral, that's the first time I heard his whole album played. It you went funeral. to Nipsey's funeral, the one that was at the Staples Center? With the Rolling 60s. 
Wow. With the with the head of the Rolling Sixties. Man, Big that U. was that was kind of crazy. Cappuccino, but yeah, over Cappuccino. Big U, Cappuccino, Miss mm. SS. I mm. rode in the back seat with Miss SS. Uh, I took pictures with with Barefoot, man. I, all of them, homie. A uh, big sight. Uh, Raymond Washington's best friend. Uh, Melvin Farmer. So, uh, homie, I stood at the main sixty house. Uh, yeah, before before the funeral. Uh, I walked in with them, sat with them, catty corner to the family. Uh. I don't they, even understand how they put something together to that magnitude that quick. They, the, the the city and the family did. The industry did. When you got Jay-Z, Puffy, all these people in one building, it's enough money to make shit move. Mm -hmm. uh, I hadn't seen it. I hadn't, that's the first time I seen a Rolls Royce truck. So I'm walking amongst these people at the funeral. I, man, I go Puffy right there. Man, I'll look at DJ quick. Man, look at Snoop Dogg. Uh, so I, I'm the one was taking the pictures of, of Melvin Farmer when he was with with Usher and, and Snoop and I'm the one taking the pictures. I wasn't fanned out. Uh I was on a journey mm. because here I am a community activist uh in my city and in my state. And I'm wondering why why is people down here celebrating Nipsey Hustle? When we got Nipsey Hustles here in our city and they're alive. Mm -hmm. And they got businesses and they doing the same thing he's doing here. Why are y'all celebrating him here? And I got invited to the funeral. Oh, uh, so mm. so here I am. I'm set out to go find out, man. Who is this Nipsey dude, man? I know your gang member, man. Why? What's so prolific about him? Yeah, he got a few businesses, man. It's a bunch of dope boy niggas got this kind of shit. What's so? Why is everybody right. celebrating him down south? So because when I lived here, he wasn't celebrated. Right. His music wasn't bumped like that. So I came to find out who Nipsey Hustle was. Only to learn about a guy by the name of Irmas. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I forgot about Nip. Yeah. Nigga, to what they were saying over that man's dead body. Mm -hmm. Man, you can't think about Nip. Because nobody said Nip. Nobody. They were saying Irmas. Even Lauren London. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many times I got to tell this story, nigga, but it gave me chills. We say we believe in shit, homie, but how can a seven-year-old kid stand before the world and say, last night, Irmis came to me in a dream, mm. and he, he was in heaven. Yeah, wasn't that little Wayne? Lil Wayne, kid? son, he was yeah. seven years mm. old. He articulated, he didn't stumble over no word. He painted a vivid picture of a dream, mm. and Nipsey said, what's up, killer? Then he explained Nipsey called him killer. Nigga, I put my blunt out. But down south, we don't smoke weed in churches at funerals. Hmm. But here I am on the West Coast, nigga, we smoking weed <laughs> and playing rapping and cussing music. Right. Homie, this is blasphemy where I'm from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nigga, so my spirit is torn. Yeah. So I put the weed out because I'm convicted by, man, you can't do this, homie. I noticed when I walked down mm -hmm. to look at the, the casket, I took a clear picture of his family members. Hmm. They wasn't enjoying his music. Black Sam wasn't smiling. No, he actually to Sam. He, he actually checked Melvin Farmer for some for yeah mm. for video on some shit. Mm. Them people wasn't smiling. Them people were hurt. They was they were hurt. Was fucked up. Mm. Here we are. We here for Nip, and you know what? We still got Nip because we can go play his music. They can't go hear Irmas. They don't even know who that is. Come on, homie. Wow. So we stuck on Nip. Who done picked up Irmas? Baton on the marathon, nigga, and continued. Nobody. Nobody. Because they stuck on Nip. The, ju the marathon ended. Come on, my nigga. That's real shit. I used to stay on, on Slauson and Rempaw on the on corner house. That's like two, three blocks down from all that shit happening, man. Like, that's crazy, but, man. So, homie, and, and let me but just say that, homie. Over there, Ray, uh, uh, long, long before this, homie, uh, them niggas know my nigga. Uh, ba King Baba Louie, uh, man, them niggas know homie. Uh, nigga, I was a lifeline for for the old homies. Mm. See, they 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 washed up in Cali. Nigga, I'm bringing them down south. They getting speaking engagement fees. Mm. They coming back with five, six, seven thousand dollars in their pocket, brand new clothes, because we honor them niggas mm -hmm. for the destruction that they brought to our cities. Mm -hmm. And all the lives that were taken. We still honor them niggas, homie. That's crazy. So, so when I lived here, I realized that in California, they don't respect no cripping in Texas. Mm -hmm. Nigga, you come up here talking cripping, you're going to get killed, nigga. 
Instantly. So why are we still talking Crippin in 2023? Let California have Crippin blood. That's they shit, my nigga. Mm -hmm. That's the coldest game that them put down outside of Big Meech and them. Let them niggas have that. Mm -hmm. We can't claim that. So I would come back to my city and tell the Crips and Blood lowly, fuck you niggas, nigga. I would diss them niggas. Mm. The California nigga would get online and start saying shit. Right. Uh, when I start making the, the, the depiction between Irmas and, and, and Nipsey, people got stuck on the fact that I'm saying fuck Nip. Nigga, Nip is the gangbanger part of the coin. That's one side. Right. The other side, homie, it's easy to say let's stick to this side. Because when you look at what killed him, homie, the right. same thing he represented. Exactly. And and, 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 and niggas want to kill me for what I'm saying, but let that nigga live for what he did. He ain't dead yet. Ain't no nigga broke in jail to go get him. Mm -mm. Ain't no nigga went and got no job in a child hall to poison him. Mm -mm. They can touch everybody else. How he can't get touched. And when he got touched, it was the essays. Mm -hmm. It was, you see what I'm saying? Right. So mm -hmm. I'm saying, nah, homie, uh, as, as, as a culture, Let's teach that there's two sides to this shit. Nigga, I play a character online. Right. But that's not who I am when I go home to my family, in the community, when I speak in school, when I speak at country clubs. And I knew that about you. And, and at first, mm -hmm. the first impression, I was like, man, who the fuck is this nigga, man? But then after a while, I was like, yeah, the, hey, man, he kind of like smart. like a crazy guy on the internet. Why I, I can't like, play Dolomite? Actually, yeah, really smart. Why I can't play Respectful. Dolomite? Right. Everybody else making movies with their phones. Right. I just took mine and made a movie. I'm playing the new Dolomite. Right. Dolomite was a wild, crazy nigga talking about white girl, white people doing karate. I'm the Rudy, new Dolomite. Rudy Ray Moore. Come I knew on, him. Homie. I knew him. Come on, homie. Rest in peace, Rudy, uh, man. Oh, uh, Petey Green. Yeah. So when you put me on the pod, I Petey Green. Oh. Uh, Howard Stern. Right. Nigga, when Howard Stern came in, he was a motherfucker. He, that wasn't yeah, never that, heard of. Yeah, that was a motherfucker. He, uh, Bill O'Reilly, Rush Limbaugh. Mm. All of these are shock jocks. Right. Right? That's a real profession. Definitely. Uh, satire comedy, Andrew Dice Clay. Of one of my favorites. Home, I took theater classes in, in college, so I, I want to act. Mm -hmm. So if I can sit my phone up. And create a persona because I got all y'all watching. Mm -hmm. I get to come be whatever I want to be. Right. Everybody else do. I just want to be the villain. I want to be the one that don't like nobody. <laughs> fuck Listen, God. He fuck was the good but, kid but, growing but, up. And now what, he wants yeah, to be the villain. Yeah. Just give him a break, guys. Okay? Listen, Seriously. That's, that's what attracted me to you. Because I'm the villain. And I've just never seen nobody else a villain like that. So shout out to Sebo in the back. He know me for years. Real villains can't yeah. come online and play this. They can't. They mean it. All the nigga playing tough online ain't really tough. No. You could tell who mean it. There you go. Yeah. Check this out. My man, Orlando Brown. Shout out to Orlando. He was saying some wild shit, but then I was like, wait a minute. This nigga ain't lying. Orlando Brown be telling the truth, y'all. Mm -hmm. Y'all, he just... Y'all got this perception of him that he's crazy and he's fucked up and he a lie. Just because he's but no, seen this some shit. No, this nigga be saying some shit. Yeah. Bro. Like, that's on the real. Yeah, so don't underestimate Oh, uh, Well, think about this, homie. There was a time I was online, I was posting all the right shit, saying all the most prolific things. Right. But the inner me didn't feel like that. I was faking because I was going through a, a midlife crisis, mm. uh, back at home with mama. Uh, got the kids, uh, right. financially struggling, Fuck yeah. battling depression, but I'm online posting as if I'm really positive, right? Saying all the inspirational thing, but nigga, I'm I'm struggling on the inside. So I start realizing, homie, most people faking with them posts. They are. Most 90, motherfucker, 98%. man, all that positive shit, motherfucker, faking all that. Yeah. Lord, holler, man, fuck that shit. Right. <laughs> if my mama died, I'm not coming online saying y'all pray for mama because mama died. Yeah, man, fuck y'all. Yeah, fuck you, bitches. Man, if I'm in the hospital, <laughs> I'm not posting no picture of my band, and I'm really sick. Right. So I realized, homie, all this is for show. It is. They they showing what they eat and everything. All this is Get for the show. Fuck out of here. When you put, listen, first day of school come around. Man, all over the internet, you see these kids dressed up for the first week. Right. After that, nobody is into showing their kids anymore until the birthday come, right. then holidays come. So, same with Mother's Day. We show all this gratitude to mama just on Mother's Day, put it online. After that, we send mama to the voicemail when she called too many times in one day. Right. 
Right. Cause we don't want to talk. We don't want to hear them out. We, man, we've been hearing them out. So, but we'll get online and play like so, homie. I peeped the psychology when Tupac said I peeped the game. No, nah, they sold it. Come on, homie. That's right. all I'm doing, man. Right. I studied this shit because I realized the algorithm controls it, right? And the people have a desire for what the algorithm controls, negativity. Mm -hmm. I spent five years going to Washington, D.C., dressed up every day, giving some of the most. I never cursed. I didn't smoke weed on camera. I never used mm -hmm. nigga. Home, I did that for, for five years. I wouldn't mm -hmm. dare do that. I didn't want to lose my white support because I got real white people that support me, homie. Right. Oh, uh, and, and, and I didn't want to give that image out. Right. I realized if you want to get a message out, on social media, you have to go negative. You got to go negative. Because that's what the algorithm wants. Listen. Because that's the supply and demand of the audience. Listen, I did all this work on MTV, Wild and Out, movies, all that shit. The biggest point of my career is when I called Tyrese a fag. That was the biggest fucking i was turned over the internet when i when i called tyrese a fact. like over all the accomplishments like out of all the shit i did and worked for it's like you said one and word and, and then like years, the internet that was like, the thing fuck you <laughs> Home, i got a, I got a, i got a whole interview with news 21 mm. walter cronkite journalism damn school. i haven't heard mm. that in a long time school of journalism homie this is the law i got a whole study that i did in 2021 on fatherlessness in america Homie, that's out for documentation. Hmm. You want to hear nobody mention that? Nigga, I'm on the front page of the American Bar Association Journal in 2018. Oh, shit. Hmm. The, um, the ABA Journal. All this is online. Hmm. Homie, I, I really work on capital murder and death penalty cases where I partner with, 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 with attorneys and, 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 and mitigation firms hmm. uh, to help lessen the sentencing for, for young boys who commit violent crimes. Okay. I really do this, homie. But because because of the algorithm, they've put all the negative videos on top. Right. And the mm -hmm. real documentation is put on the third page. Right. But if you research mm -hmm. who and what I am, homie, you see, man, uh man, I've worked with over fifty US congressional members uh in America to to get juvenile life without parole abolished in this country in twenty sixteen. Mm -hmm. We went to the Supreme wow. Court. Who did, who did you vote for for president? Uh, president That's Trump. Awesome. Trump. I love yeah. Trump. I uh, want him back. Uh, well, uh, I, 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 I love it. I, I love any anyone who pushes a, a conservative platform. Mm. So I'm not a Republican. Me uh, neither. Uh, I, I'm a conservative nigga who just so happens to vote Republican because Republicans promote uh, conservative values. Right. Uh, God, family. Uh, I believe if my neighbor ain't got no sugar, you don't knock on my door and expect me to give you no sugar, nigga. Democrats think uh, if your neighbor ain't got no sugar, he's supposed to come to everybody though and get sugar from everybody because we got sugar. Right. Our parents didn't raise us like that. Most black people are conservative by nature and by upbringing. Is that because we are indoctrinated in public schools, we're taught to vote left. Uh, right. uh, we're, we're, we're miseducated because we're not really taught that the Republican Party uh, were the ones who fought alongside of black people during slavery. And it was the Democrats who created the, the Ku Klux Klan. It was the Democrats uh, who went against every civil rights legislation in this country up until today. It's the Republicans who have authored and, 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 and wrote 100 percent of black civil rights legislation in this country. It's been Republican Party. Uh, We're uh, taught that the party switched. We, we we was taught that the party switched during the Southern strategy with Nixon. It's not that they switched. The Democrats became more clever because who owned us in the beginning? The Democrats. Democrats. Who was the slave owner? The Democrats. Democrats. So here we are. We the don't. Christians. So here Democrats. we. So here we are. We don't ran away from our masters. How do they get us to come back to the plantation? Come on, come on, come on, Jimmy. We go give you free land. We go feed you in the name of welfare, government entitlement program. Tax wow. benefits. Hmm. Hey, Hugh, can you put up that video real quick before we wrap this up here? I want to play that video that you had. Hey, let, hey for Charles tell, tell me, tell me your five rappers, all time rappers. Tupac, LL Cool J, uh, Eric B. Ti. Hmm. Even though he's a snitch. 
and Jeezy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, snitching ain't got nothing to do with rapping. Oh, b- because rapping is, is rapping is, is snitching. Well, well <laughs> rapping. I'm just, I, I push this button off. Okay, here, here's a video we wanted to. Oh to, to shit! Hear. Can you guys hear that? How do you go about reaching out to Charleston White? Cause yeah, I can I hear it. What? Early on, when he was doing say cheese and stuff, and I got told that he did not. With me. Yeah, folks don't with you. I'm the wrong kind of white boy because yeah, I folks. like I like black people too much. Apparently, he made it clear that he likes racist white boys. Which I still <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What? Yeah, weird yeah. backhanded compliment. I don't care if you don't like me because, to be fair, even though I was gonna interview him or I would have been happy to interview him, he does seem like you know a piece of shit. <gasps> Woo! What? He said that about my boy, man. Damn. Yeah, I talked about fucking Lana. Okay. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we brought that up. That was a good point. This, this, like I was telling you earlier, I don't have problems with people. I hate this dude, and I think he's a cop too. Oh uh, well, so you know. well, well, well. Here's the thing. Uh, I, 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 I I'm glad I'm the right type of white I guy. I feel like you think every guy with tattoos is a cop. <laughs> no, I don't. I th- he, that's a persona he's putting on himself. That ain't who he is. He's a just a regular square dude. Oh uh, well, I, he I looks think like a BMX I, driver, I think right? I think he's the mm-hmm. next Caitlyn Jenner. I think he's the oh, next. Oh shit! There you go. I think I the think next damn. Caitlyn Jenner. I, I think he the next Bruce oh. that that wants some nigga dick, mm. and he he just oh. don't know how who, to come out. Who is this? Oh, uh, Adam Adam Twenty Two. Yeah. So he's Adam Twenty Two is going to be the next Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah, he's think, a pillow biter. I, I, I'm willing to bet <laughs> within the next ten to fifteen years, uh, Adam Twenty Two. Uh, is gonna come out and say he like black dick. Yeah. Oh, what if he likes yours? He's gonna get a tattoo of it on his face. <laughs> oh my god. Well, hey Charleston, where that can, is so funny. Before we wrap it up here, where can people find you on the internet? Besides all over the place. What's the best way to reach out to you besides that phone number? Uh yeah, because he uh, might block you. www.therealcharlestonwhite.com Yeah, and what is your Instagram, man? I got a few of them, so I'm confused now as to which uh, one is the which one is the real one. Are they all the uh, real one? Uh, Charleston White 46. The one with the line after it? Uh, I, changed, I changed that one. Okay. It's in uh, the middle. Well, now, homie, listen. Uh, the, these platforms allow people to impersonate me. Mm-hmm. So, so there, man, yeah. uh, there's, there's TikTok platforms that have 200,000 uh, uh followers and subscribers so when i apply for a blue check to be to be verified they will strike me even with my id but yeah. uh, so there's a blue check uh a twitter account how can it it's a blue check charleston white twitter account wow. uh i have a facebook page i have a facebook fan page the charleston white fan page hmm. uh it's a private but there are other two facebook groups that got over 200 300 000 followers in, in charleston white's name so when i report them for impersonation uh they disappear but still remain Man, me and you got a lot in common yeah. about that, bro. How yeah. about you, Little Rach? Where can they find you at? You can find me uh, on the interwebs at Lil Rach, L-I-L-R-A-Y-C-H. Are, are you missing a nail, too? Can, can you fuck off? I uh, I just broke she, it. She's missing a nail. I just nails. broke During it Charleston White. Here. During the That's Charleston the White. Finger. Don't stare yeah. at me. <laughs> How about you, Spanky? Or Carlos? He's uh, Carlos Hayes I am now. not Spanky Look, Hayes I, I anymore. I still call him Spanky, pop. though. It's kind of hard. Pop. Yeah, yeah we just call him Four Pop. That's my like Carlos real Hayes name. isn't funny, man. Yeah, right. Fuck you. Carlos. Fuck you. Carlos doesn't got to be funny. I'm an actor now. I'm, I'm past comedy. I just don't even try to be funny no more. Yeah, Denzel okay. ain't got no nickname. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Is De- Denzel might not hey, be his out, real name. Shout out to uh Scrancho uh came in the building. Where's Scrancho at? Scrancho yeah. was uh back in the back for a second, man. And That's then uh, dog. you guys can find me on Green Room Radio. I just made a new personal page. It's T R U dot E one one E V E N. And then how about you, Hugh? Where can they find you, producer Hugh? Bam, there it is. We don't want Hugh. We hey, don't me, want Hugh. Me and Charleston going on tour. And man. then real yeah, 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 real quick, shout out to uh my sponsor, Fuego. That shit is fire. Shit is fire. And listen to my podcast, man. The game related podcast. You get to see the see and hear the real Charleston White. No I'm characters. Really how nothing. how many uh how, how many times a week do you do the podcast? Uh, uh we do Tuesdays and Thursdays. Is it, so who who's your other guy on there? Uh, Anthony Dewberry, man. Dewberry, right shout out to Dewberry in the building. Yeah. Man. 
Yes, and then uh, uh oh, and half paint film. We just added half paint film to the crew too, man. So he was on he was on no jumper the other day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So cool. so this what no jumper been doing since I won't go. <laughs> he going to go get other people out my city. So he had the gay crib. Mm. Uh, the the gay the gay motherfucking crib. Uh, I thought all crips was gay mm. at some oh. point. <laughs> yeah, they. So I thought all I thought I thought everybody was gay in the gangs. At some point, you got to go because some nigga go get life, and everybody can't fuck the female guard. Some nigga got to settle for that booty. Right. Most settle for the booty. Hey, no judgment here. Oh uh, man, mine neither. Oh, uh, so I always so, felt like they was killing hey, for their shout, boyfriend. Shout out to yeah. shout out to cocaine. Cocaine, our other sponsor. Cocaine. Oh. And then uh, shout out to our video crew over here, T Edwards Productions. Yeah, shout T. out to Lolo's Edwards Chicken Productions. and Waffles hey. too, man. Shout out to Lolo's Chicken and Waffles. Shout right? out to Jardines. Show. It's, it's Hardy. Man, it's pronounced Hardy, not Hardy, 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 yeah. Hardy, 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 Hardy. Yeah, Hardy. shout out to Zach. <laughs> Over yeah. at Hardeen, shout yeah. out to all that love they showed up to DJ Bonix. Bonix, yeah, yeah. DJ Bonix, and, and what just, up? And shout just for everyone. the record, people, uh, Hardeen got some weed with some lubricants and a deal dough. Uh, yeah. Party yeah. favors, that's they yeah. got party favors over there. And the swag is dope. <laughs> yeah. Their clothing is so on point. Yeah, they they got a they got a bullet deal though. Oh, I'm buying for all my female <laughs> partners. <laughs> Little old Billy motherfucker, they can travel with it when they yeah. driving. Yeah. On the way to work in the morning. Well, hey, thank you, Charleston. Hopefully, you'll. Uh, yeah. you'll I can come back. You'll, you can come back. Let's go oh, round ho- two. Ho- hopefully, we can. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, we can come on yours. Oh All man, right? that that would be lovely. Yeah, I'm definitely going. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Definitely. We yeah. can talk shit about Adam Twenty Two. I could do it for hours. <laughs> oh, I'd rather just get a booth in front of him though at the AVM. We gotta put and our character me. on and invite yeah. me. And invite Yo, let's go, oh, man. Charleston yeah. might come to our AVN booth. Oh, right. yeah, I sent Lana a message. All, All right, right well, peace out, y'all. See ya.